delighted to, to be here. This is my first time in, in Nigeria, not the, my first time in Africa. Uh, delighted to be here to share with you my thoughts on CSR, uh, but with a sense of humility. So I, um, um, I'm going to share with you some thoughts on CSR, but I'm also here to learn, very much here to, to learn about CSR and what it might mean in the Africa context. I'm going to start by, I'm going to start by just saying a few words about the about the business case for corporate social responsibility, uh, which is very much the theme of this uh, afternoon, and then uh, ask the question, well, what is CSR? So there are many definitions of CSR. I'm going to share with you a, a couple that at least can provide a foundation for our, for our discussions. And then ask the question, well, why do it? Why give it attention? And including in that, uh, look at some of the reasons for, for not doing it, some of the reasons for uh, not giving it attention, uh, say a little bit about what it might mean within the uh, Africa context, and then uh, say, uh, conclude with some of the some of the challenges. So let me let me start then by uh, saying a little bit about the business case for CSR. There's a picture of a tapestry. It's a William Morris tapestry from 1895. Uh, it's currently in the Birmingham Museum in the UK, and it's one of six tapestries that recounts uh, the legend of the Knights of the Round Table, uh, King Arthur's Knights of the Round Table, and their quest for the Holy Grail. And uh, essentially, you know, legend has it, and this is a, a story that goes back many hundreds of years, legend has it that the uh, the Knights of the Round Table went on this quest to try and find the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail being uh, supposedly the cup uh, that Christ drank from at the Last Supper and a, a, a mythical symbol of union with Christ. And what this particular tapestry shows is, as the final of, uh, of the series of uh, six tapestries, it shows the attainment of the Holy Grail uh, that the knights had ultimately, after uh, much adversity, been successful and, 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 and obtained the, the Holy Grail. 150 of them set out on this quest, only three of them uh, survived, and here you see uh, Sir Galahad uh, praying in, in front of the, of the Holy Grail. Now this is a, 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 a story that is not only part of English folklore, you find it in uh, different forms, but uh, essentially the same, the same basic idea in many other cultures as, as well, and even in popular culture. So uh, the, 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 the film Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is loosely based on the idea of a quest for the Holy Grail. But when we use that term, a quest for the Holy Grail, what we're trying to capture is the idea that there is something out there uh, that is is very difficult to find, but is uh, in some way representing perfection. And it's this elusive search for perfection that I wish to suggest to you is really what the, uh, the, the quest for the business case for CSR is all about. <coughs> Can we find that win-win where there are economic rewards for companies doing good for doing CSR? And more specifically, uh, for this event, for this conference here in Lagos, can we find that in Africa? And in terms of just, uh, just to give you a, a, a bit of a, a background to, to who I am and how I came to be uh, spending my career looking at this topic, this is a book I wrote some 20 years ago, and it's called Morality in the Market, Consumer Pressure for Corporate Accountability. And what it describes is how consumers have, over centuries actually, used their influence in the marketplace to try and affect business practice. Uh, very obviously in boycotts where they have uh, boycotted companies engaged in practices of which they don't approve and more positively supported, given preference to companies uh, whose practices they do approve of. And one of the examples in the, uh, in the book is the example of 
Barclays Bank in South Africa, uh, a bank that uh, chose to leave apartheid South Africa in part because of the pressure in its uh, consumer marketplace as a result of a consumer boycott. And what you have with this example uh, is, is not just a sense of where I'm coming from in looking at this, but also one example of how there can be drivers for business attention to CSR, uh, put differently, a business case for CSR. All right, so let's look at what, what we mean by CSR. So, so what is CSR? And at least as a base definition, uh, I would suggest to you it's about company obligations to society, or more specifically, its stakeholders. Obligations beyond legal requirements and the firm's duties to its shareholders, and obligations that, when met, are intended to minimize any harms and maximize the long-run 